Irene has space in my mind. Time to rewind things. Rewind things. Time, time to remind me. Time, time. Yo, what's up? This is the young disciple, the soldier, coming to you live here on YouTube. And this message is just about the blasphemy of Satan. Now, there's a few things I've noticed besides the image that I'm using here. This is an image that I'm just deciding to use due to the fact that I type in, you know, what is a blasphemy? And then, honestly, this right here is suitable. But beside that point, there's something that I noticed. In the last video I did about the righteous divide, I guess YouTube took that down because I probably used the image that was too related to COVID-19. But beside that point, we all know that that is a big old lie. Really, it's Satan trying to come in and alter your DNA. That's really what it is all about. It's all about DNA. It's all about DNA at the end of the day. The devil wants to try to corrupt the image of God. And it said in Genesis 126, 127, for God made man in his image, you know, and, and so forth and so on. But what I've noticed is a few things. So, so at work, right, there's this person whose name, I'm not going to tell you his first name, but his middle name is Jacob. And my first name is Jacob, but his middle name is Jacob. And what I noticed is I seen him wearing a shirt. That said propaganda 1989. Now, if you know anything about me, you'll know I was born 1992. I was born in the early 90s, but yet for some re weird reason, the devil has been making people believe that I was born in 1989. When in fact, I wasn't born for a whole nother three years. And ironically, he was wearing that shirt that said obey propaganda ever since 1989 and like i said i was born in 1992 so the problem with that is is that god flexed on the devil today with a co-worker that i have now when i was in 2014 i was 22 years old and now i am 29 i just turned 29 last month so I've been 29 now for a whole month. But the devil was trying to make people believe I was older. But I don't know why this has been such a war. Maybe it's because the devil hates when you actually serve God and you do it from like your youth up. Because I guess it really pisses him off more than anything because you're not serving Satan. And beside that, another thing I noticed as I was walking back to the apartment, this person, I think he wrongfully judged me, but next time I see him, I'm going to look him in his eyes, and I'm going to tell him, Satan, get behind me, and I'm going to rebuke him to his face, but I don't know, sometimes, I just, I don't know, I just hate being mean to people, I don't feel like it's right, but next time, I'll just... Sometimes you got to rebuke people, you got to do that, but, I mean, you got to be wise, you don't just go rebuke everybody because that's just not normal to do. You know, you just some people just don't realize that you're anointed in that they wrongfully judge because so I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty young looking, but it's only because God told me that I'm actually probably only 21 physically, so I can't help that I look young, cause I am young. But people wrongfully judge, and I notice that that's the blasphemy of Satan. But anyways, besides that, I don't wanna get off on a rant with that, but the reason why I'm even using this photo for the beginning is because not only do I mention in one of my other videos how I have these same shoes, but they're in blue. And like, I believe what really it is, is Satan is jealous. He's honestly jealous. He's so jealous that he does these little attacks because he's so jealous that he doesn't have power like God said. And you know what it says here in Amos chapter 5? There's, I, highlighted, I highlighted all of it. The, be, the like middle part, really. It says, seek the Lord and live. 
For thus said the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. Seek the Lord, and ye shall live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Yet who turn judgment to wormwood, and leave off righteousness in the earth? Seek him that maketh the seven stars in Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day with night, that calleth the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Basically, y'all need to read that. I don't know why that spoke to me, but because personally, being where you are right now in this whole dilemma of blasphemy by satan and the whole like vax thing that they want to put into your body which is really an abomination yeah I said that it's an abomination and it's wicked and it's not of god and any christian that promotes it should be questioned you probably should not go to their church but I rebuke any attempt to try to take this down because Satan, you don't have no power. You only have the power that God allows you. And the reason why I'm even bringing up Amos is because I believe there's a lot of prophecy that it says here that, you know, and it also talks about other things that I'm not entirely sure about because I don't know everything, but I just know right here that it says, seek good and not evil, that you may live. So the Lord of hosts shall be with you as you have spoken. Because, you know, God is not going to be with you if you're being evil. It's just against his natural order. Now, Satan is going to lie to you and say, oh, God, he won't leave you. You can do whatever you want. You can go. You can you can be as wicked as you please. And, and maybe you'll be able to repent. But how do you know that you're going to be able to repent? First of all, how do you know that you're even guaranteed if you decide to be wicked, that God is even going to allow you to live to repent? What if he allows you not to live to repent? Then what? But that's just beside the point. And I think I don't even know why the last video, but I think the last video probably got taken down because I put a photo of the COVID-19 and I said that I believe that really I believe it's all about propaganda. But it is. It's propaganda. Honestly, anyone that tells you to wear two masks, you should question Dr. Fauci. And you should question his um, you should question his um his um expertise as a as a medical professional because any medical professional would know to wear two masks is probably not the most brilliant idea really what's the point but that's satan he's he's looking to steal kill and destroy but i think the main reason why satan is so jealous of me is because he can't touch me. And I don't say that to boast, but I know that he can't touch me. Because when my coworker took off his jacket, his shirt said 2014 on it. And I said, that's really weird because the last person, he had a shirt that said 1989. And the Lord's been telling me that when I turn 30 next year, that physically I'm gonna be 22. And that would be 2022. So a whole year from now, I'll become I'll become 30 in a whole year from now. So 11 more months from now, I'll be turning 30 in 11 months. So almost a whole year. And I think the problem here is that God really showed the devil today. And I noticed it in the spiritual because I didn't really pay attention to it. Besides, I just asked him real quick. I was like, uh, I was like, uh, where'd you get that shirt at? And he's like, oh, I used to work at Amazon. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy because, you know, when I got fired from Costco, my first ever job, I happened to be like, it happened to be right around there. But 
it's it's just really really everything is so hard for me to explain like i don't know everything like i think some of the deepest revelations i get are when i least expect it at least that's what i notice but other than that i'm sorry guys because i really wanted to upload that video but you know how this freaking youtube lying devils who promote stupid videos but you can't even see it's wicked right but even the bible says don't don't be envious of the wicked because we already know they're gonna burn in hell how can you be envious of someone who's gonna burn in hell like i don't know you know you can't be envious of someone who's about to burn in hell like it doesn't make sense it's like being envious of someone who goes and and um buys a mansion just to find out that you know we don't know we don't know the future but say they go and buy a mansion and then five years from now or to a year from now they go bankrupt so we can't see the future so i mean it looks like they're prospering but really they're heading straight to the lake of fire and they're gonna burn for eternity so i don't even i'm starting to remind myself like legit how can you be jealous of someone who's gonna burn in hell you shouldn't it's really dumb especially satan you're gonna burn in hell too in jesus name be blessed